It's Friday. Friday. Gotta get cracking on Friday. So, it's Friday night. No fucking work to do all weekend. No school to do all weekend. It's gonna be sick. I can't think of anything better to do than to play video games. Okay, what should I play? Um, what should I be playing? Let's see. Uh, 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 Boy, this definitely tells you that the resolution's uh, ideal when Steam comes up and it's half the screen. <laughs> You know, this doesn't look awful, I guess. The lighting's pretty good. Look at that. It's all shining. Well, this looks like the way to victory. Alright, so let's... Alright, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's gotta be... Yep. Just fall straight. <laughs> it's just like, you know, just kind of walk down. Make sure you don't fall too far. Good place to practice some shooting. That's definitely what I think. I'm coming into town trying to not make too much trouble, and I'm just like, I need to practice some shooting real quick. I would rather be just like learning on the spot and be like penalized when I fuck up. He's like holding his gum up, and you can see through it now and again. And then I can't shoot it anymore because it's dead, because that's this video game. Our sheriff. Who always thought I was up to no good. Even I can when just I like hear the recording booth Clyde that this Forrest guy is talking in. Grand saloon. Like you know, in, in games and movies and stuff. Like you come back to town yeah. after literal years, and everyone yeah. instantly yeah. recognizes you. you and gun. people don't you think don't. about how you forget sure. what people Probably look like, boy. kinda. So let's make sure that this town definitely has enough economy to survive. First of all, it's a town right next to a huge fucking gorge. Uh, with no way down to the river source for water or nothing. So there's definitely oh, an improbability that's going to work. This is right there, this building. This building's going to fall off when the rocks move. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Uh, we got a leather merchantile, so he sells leather. He probably doesn't even make it So We got a building unknown. We've got the Undertaker. There's a general store, which is the size of a little tiny thing. And then there's a blacksmith here. Can I pick up poop. She recognized me all the way across there. Imagine being in a time when you could, like, you would have, like, a relationship with a woman, but you also knew that that girl was fucking every single man in the town when they had money to do so. Imagine that, and that's just how life is. You're like, oh, I really like this girl, and it's just like, everyone in town's like, yeah, we all like this girl. And you're like, well, okay. They're th how did this happen? What the hell are you looking at? Is, what is this? Is this some sort of suck fest back here, boys? Who's doing the sucking? Must be you, short fat man. Cause that man's nose would get in the way. There's no horses in this town. There's no nothing. This isn't a town. How could it be of this size? Howdy fellas. Who's gonna win? Uh. You got a pair of aces. There's no, no one's the dealer. There's no cards on the table. There's just some men holding cards. Maybe they're playing Go Fish. At least this game didn't directly tell me that I had. Uh, it did, that in fact, it, tell huh? me. That. Should have known. Maybe you can find a rope to get your ass through this window. Maybe you can I find a longer this. dick to come yeah. fuck me with from down there because you're not doing shit. I didn't know this was Indiana Jones, too. They just didn't know. They were just like, I don't know, maybe it's Indiana Jones. Oh my Thought I heard you in here. You got an itch. I heard your small dick flopping around in here. There can't be more than, like, 12 people in this entire town. I'd skin that boy alive for a taste of that little trollop. Not, it's not like you haven't had her before. This is like a mechanic of the game, is walking down a hill good, and that's if like you can do it good, you're gonna be real successful. 
There's just, there's literally health potions in this game. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that's like, that's like late 90s. Okay, here we go! <laughs> oh. oh. Imagine being a, a woman who's fairly attractive and you can't like earn any money any other way because no one taught you how to do anything. And so you're kind of pretty though, and so you're just gonna have to have sex with all these dudes. Imagine if some of them are really good though, and you're just like, you get to find out like some guy is just old guy in his 50s, he's just really good, but he still pays you money for that encounter. Okay, so you wanna know something <laughs> real fucked up? Uh, I didn't play Oblivion, I didn't play any of the Elder Scrolls games as a kid, that just wasn't me. And, uh, but I didn't have Oblivion, uh, and I didn't play any Elder Scrolls games, I didn't play any RPGs like that, and so, I think my older brother had, like, a friend, and he had some old 360 games, and he just brought them over one day, and I was looking at him, and he's like, oh, dude, you can just have, uh, this copy of Two Worlds. And I was like, yeah, sick! So I put it in my Xbox, and, I mean... That was the first game like that, like an RPG, open world RPG with gear and stats and shit that I'd ever played. And I thought it was, like, so sick at, like, I don't remember, maybe 10, 11 years old. And I remember I pulled, like, an all-nighter. The first, like, I was playing video games in the evening, and I was playing video games at 6 in the morning. And just playing that fucking game all night, two worlds. And I was just play <laughs> and I just was playing it so much, and it was just ridiculous because I'd never seen anything like that. And then it was later on I learned that was the shitty one, and that there were is there were other far superior games as far as story and not bugs and losing your gear for no apparent reason. Okay, so you know how Mexican food is like a blessing and a curse because like you get super excited because Mexican food is like the best thing in the world. But then, and you're excited when you're going to have it or you're going to make it. But then at the same time, you know that you have like two days of time where if you're around a person, you're at a high risk scenario where you're just going to create toxic death around them. So you've got to like plan for that. And you got to uh, fucking plan for just not being around. So if like you're going to be around a female, you got to not have Mexican food for like a couple days beforehand. For just a half hour of sex, these guys are gonna just murder a man in cold blood. And it's gonna be meaningless. It's not like you're gonna have a relationship. It's not like she's gonna be your girlfriend or anything. It's just like, yeah, half hour of... It's just basically like good, really good, the best masturbation you've ever had. That's literally all it is. She's not gonna be into it, really. Is it a power thing? Prostitution? Like, just like, I can literally do whatever I want to you and you just kinda have to put up with it because I paid you money. Is that what it's about, or is it for dudes who just can't get laid, or... I don't understand the appeal, necessarily. How come in video games the terrain just doesn't look like it would be a real thing? Looks like we found it! Looks like we found how thick your dick is, boy! This guy's so obsessed with getting ammo, he doesn't even know if there is ammo for his specific caliber in here. But he's gotta get it, dude, like... Wouldn't it be better just to come back to town, get a job, maybe work a little bit, buy some bullets, you know, work your way up around the community? That's how most games start. Like, you just kind of have nothing. They put a lot of work into this grass and shit, because I feel like they're going to use it a lot. Babylon. These are just, uh, come I mean, that guy is just masturbating out over of there. Here. Oh god, fucking heard no it jerk off. Fucking read a Bible verse. And yet ye receive oh, he's done. He finished. What's. Are there secrets? There's all these hidden paths, and I just want to know what all. Where every, what all the things are. I mean, it's just kind of hard to have a, a Western game that doesn't have, like, exploration in it. That doesn't make any sense to me. Why wouldn't there be a Western game with exploration? That seems kind of pivotal to a Wild West game. Billy! 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 How about you get rid of this thing? Get my Bible out, dude. 
And there was given to the beast mouth. <laughs> I can read from the fucking Bible. That's amazing that I can read from the fucking Bible. I saw Billy in town. He had his bill fat cot just swinging around town, roping up people. Or was it his whip? I don't remember quite, frankly. Imagine this guy just busily run into his fucking brother's house, and he's got his Bible in his hand, and he's just reading Bible verses while he's trying to just get to his brother's house. Oh no, should I go this way? I mean, there's just all these other paths, and I want to go look for treasure down there, but I know there's no treasure. Billy! Billy! Billy, Billy. <laughs> what have you done, boy? <laughs> God, what have you done? <laughs> I better get Tim. Don't make. Why are you gonna just literally beat to death the pastor of your town? Surely you just don't want to rob from the pastor's brother. There's only like eight people in the entire town, and you. Why would you steal from anyone? Surely you're gonna get fucked up if you do that. Holy crap, look at his fucking How fingernails. Lives did they take? I mean, Red Dead Redemption was just a game where you could just literally hunt down bounties and shit, and that's all I've ever wanted from a video game since I was probably six years old. Fucking being a cowboy. I don't understand how video games haven't satisfied that itch yet of just me being a cowboy, just running around on my horse, camping and shit, and just wanting to fucking... It just it just boggles the mind. I mean, I was playing cowboys or knights, right, when I was a kid, or maybe Jedi's or like space shooter, right, when I was a kid. That was just kind of how life worked. I just don't understand. Every kid's got the same thing. Like, I don't think Please. there's a leave us be. There's a kid who isn't just like I would like to play, just play pure fun. And so it's either knights. Or that's cowboys, or maybe pirates, or uh, like maybe ninjas if you're something. I didn't play ninjas too much, but like maybe that's just because I'm white. But your opponents press any mouse button, any of the mouse buttons. So, because I've got a few extra on my mouse, you think those will work? No, they won't. Literally, I've killed more people than this town could possibly support already. I'm a little disappointed there's no exploding barrels, so... What the f- Oh, my gun broke! That's pretty sick! Guns break? Is there, like, weapon degradation? That's pretty sick! Save okay. Well, there's a time where, like, saves were a huge problem and potentially they didn't work. Okay, so you need some of these, obviously, climb up or whatever. You jump on the box. <sighs> no, you jump on the box, and then you jump on the box again, and then you need some more boxes. This is like a puzzle, and it's like there's this scene of tension, and they're like lighting the building on fire, and like, they're like, nah, you need to be spending more, maybe potentially a lot. Like, I remember I played Half-Life 2 for the first time, and they would try and create some tension or something. It's pretty good in Half-Life, it's not bad or nothing, but like, I remember there would be like a chase scene, and then I would be stuck in literally a puzzle area, because I was, you know, six years old for literally hours. Because I couldn't figure it out because I was a fucking child. Jump on the box! Jump on the box! Uh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay, just look straight up and then it's okay. Ta uh. <laughs> At least we got shadows off the box because. Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> Having fun in the mushroom. What this place? I'm gonna fall the fucking ledge. I'm gonna fall. The thing is, is that they had a mechanic literally five minutes ago. Fuck you! Where you could just grab onto ledges and shit. And they're like, no. That's gone. That's fine. And you pick this one. You can. <laughs> Okay, you've never had more fun in your life, dude. This is what having fun is right here. Jumping on little boxes to get onto bigger boxes. Why?
I'm not having fun. This isn't me being intoxicated. This is literally this. Imagine being a console gamer, and this is. Oh, I gotta look like straight up to be able to jump properly. There's a box right next to me. It's the right height for jumping on. I promise. I. Oh my fucking goddamn fan! <laughs> please, please. I just want to be able to get. Okay. We're, we're like. Okay. So then I grab this. Put it down. And you'd think I'd be able to jump on it. Put it down. And now I'm fucking stuck! <laughs> okay, I'm back. I, I pissed. I'm gonna hop up here. Jesus fucking Christ! I really need to figure out when this game came out because I'll I'll put like a thing right. Wait, no, hold up. It'll be on it'll be up on the screen right. Right? No, hold on. No! <laughs> that's that's the date this game came out. <laughs> to set the shoot the barrels in the carriage. There are explosive barrels in this game. Fuck you. I think that's it. I think we're done with this game. I think we're done.